and we've got a day of farming out of the way through so let's check with king mog see what he's got for us to shop with see what all the cool stuff is is this event so we know it's wind fangs that we've got to turn in i was really lucky yesterday so i got a lot of bonus monsters so we've got a pretty good start today so we're gonna talk about the items i'm gonna talk about them from two perspectives um, i've been playing for a long time so some of the stuff is not as good for me as it would be for newer players so i'm going to look at it from both ends and uh, let's discuss so starting off with the exclusive equipment we've got the onion helm which is uh, attack plus 15 percent and defense plus 20 percent um, that is a nice attack helm for someone who is just starting out now you get the healthy boost only if you're onion knights of course is much better for him but it's still a really good helmet if you're just starting the game out um, it gives your physical attacker a lot of extra attack that could be hard to get until a few islands in when you start getting like the green beret and other stuff so if you're new it's something i would pick up but i wouldn't pick it up right away because we've got something that's going to be super high priority in just a moment that we'll talk about the onion armor is the same it's heavy armor it's got attack it's really cool onion knight unlocks some really really useful traits with naughty to help him out so it helps him even more but uh for a new player it's not terribly expensive but it would not be on my list until later because the first thing we'll want to get which i'm gonna buy as well um is going to be summon tickets because you need summon tickets you need summon tickets all the time so we're gonna go ahead and get the summon tickets now um the first set is really cheap the second set is reasonable also at 3,000 so we've spent 4,000 so far and the third set is not terrible so this is 10,000 at this point so that's not hard to get um, the last set is 18,000 so that one may be something that you'll put off until later uh, I really don't have as many things to get in uh, this one so I'm gonna go ahead and snag it up right now so okay, I've got all my summon tickets taken care of one other thing that I always make sure to get a hold of because you're always gonna need a ton of them when you go to the fat chocobo and that's gonna be the star quartz so I'm gonna get all the star quartz right now so that way that's out of the way now the exclusive equipment in this um, event is locked behind characters so if you have these units it's really good if you don't have these units it's okay so you know it's one of those things that um, I wouldn't necessarily get any of the equipment unless you plan on using those units I'll get the Casanova because I have Dash um, I don't have Arya and I don't have Onion Knight so for me the rest of the exclusive stuff is not gonna be that great um, these materials, the Heart of Fire, Heart of Water, Heart of Wind, and Heart of Earth, uh, they could be decent in certain scenarios because they could top off your resistance to make you immune to an element if you set everything else up. But outside of that, um, it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world, so it's not something that I would buy right away. Uh, it can be very useful in a few situations, but it's not going to be something that you're going to have on any unit for an extended period of time probably one fight or uh, probably one fight at most and you're going to be planning that fight right uh, we've got metal gigantars if you need to level units i definitely would just do this uh, as soon as you can because the higher level your units are the more easier it'll be for you to run higher difficulties and so that's going to mean that you can get more wind fangs back so uh, if you're new definitely use this opportunity to level as many units as you can so that way you can turn around and get a greater return for the rest of the event uh, typically these events usually have a second week that has a really really difficult boss fight so yeah we definitely want to make sure that the units are in tip-top shape uh, as soon as possible 
So that's going to be something that's really, really valuable since the equipment's not all that great in this event. Um, the mini pot bursts, if you don't have anything else to buy, they're okay. The 1% trust moogles are not that great. So that's not something that I would get usually at all. The 10% trust moogle for 30,000 wind fangs is a fantastic deal. As you can see, you're getting 10% for 30,000 versus the 5% for 50,000. Much, much better deal. Always snag the trust moogle as soon as you can. Um, that's the next thing that I'm buying on my list. And for the Crists, I only get the Crists when I have nothing else to buy. So that's after I buy all of my Awakening materials. That's after I buy all of my items. I buy all of my uh, elixirs and all the just all the random stuff that I just like to stock up on so I don't have to craft it. So yeah, this event's not going to have a whole, whole lot that you'll need to focus on. So just go ahead, level up everything with the Metal Gigantars buy all the fun stuff that you just don't want to craft uh, like the fine Alchrist and the Scream Root so that way you can make magic keys if you're new that's going to be really really useful because then you'll have more magic keys in order to open a lot of chests uh, so definitely snag those and so just to go over it one more time the number one priority is going to be summon tickets because you need them so you can summon things for free uh, then you're going to have the Trust Moogle, which is 30000 That's probably going to be your most expensive purchase. And uh, you should be able to get that done in two weeks, but be sure to snag that. Uh, Star Quartz. Star Quartz are not going to be expensive, so get those and level your characters. Those are the first and foremost things that you should be doing. After that, this one's kind of wide open, so there's not too much that you have to really, really press yourself to buy. Um, so you can just get the other stuff that you want. Um, I'm going to focus on awakening mats because I always seem to run out when I have to awaken a few six stars at a time. So that's going to be one of my focuses. And, uh, you know, let me know if there's anything that I've missed in the comment section below. I'm really excited about this event because this one looks like I'm going to be able to take it easy based on what's for sale. So I'm going to also be farming gill because... The Gill Snapper Cave is open this weekend, and I'm going to go ahead and get some extra loot. So, um, I appreciate you as usual coming by. If you like this, throw me a like on my YouTube page, follow me on Twitch, and be sure to subscribe so that way you'll have entries into my giveaway, which is going to be a couple of weeks from now. And we're going to be giving away some gift cards. I'm excited that I'm going to do that. And so, I really want us all to have a good time, and you know, we're really going to enjoy it. So uh, leave some comments in the comment section below about what you purchased and what your focus is going on. And, uh, you know, until next time, I appreciate you guys. This is Levi Nam. You guys take care. God bless. And in just a little while, I'm going to have a video on what to do in order to beat up Heim on Elite because it's a very interesting fight if you have to prepare for it. But it is something that can be overcome, even if you're not, you know, balls to the wall, whalesy, or have everybody maxed out and all kind of crazy stuff. So, look forward to seeing you again soon. Y'all take care, and God bless.